Okay, well, here's my Toyota Tacoma. And uh, the Toyota Tacoma, for the most part, on this generation here, 2016, uh, the bumper extensions, in fact, most of the bumper, except for the tow package, is plastic. And if you're an idiot like me, and you back into a fire hydrant, that's what happens. So, that pushed in, so this is trashed. That uh, could maybe be straightened out, but I've ordered a new one. The piece underneath was completely destroyed. And so basically, this is your bumper. It is plastic. Underneath here, it's a very, okay, there's a very thin little piece of sheet metal that this attaches to. And, uh, I mean, that's it. The frame's right there. The plastic, this was one piece, attaches here and bolts under this flimsy piece of sheet metal. Now this is a little bit bent, I'm gonna to have to straighten this out. But anyway, yeah, uh, hopefully I can get this in alignment. I do have all the new parts I've ordered online. But, yeah, that's what, uh, you know, a modern vehicle, that's a great little truck, but, you know, the days of the old heavy chrome bumpers are, are long gone. But you're also not supposed to back into fire hydrants. Um, so yeah, so I got some new parts. I'm going to show those and then I'm going to reassemble this. And hopefully make this look half decent again. Okay. Okay, so these are the uh, Tacoma bumper parts I ordered. This is the uh, bumper frame, if you will, underneath the corner. Um, it just kind of, it kind of bolts to that thin metal plate I was just showing. These, this one, this one, and that one. And uh, really not, and then also bolts to the frame here. So really not much to it. Here is the plastic cover. Uh, it came in flat black. Uh, I just gave this the old scuff and spray with some uh, color match uh, automotive paint out of a rattle can. Uh, one coat I sanded. I did two more light coats. It's not perfect. It never is, but I'm going to be honest with you. The paint job on that Tacoma for a truck as expensive as it is, uh, I put this beside the, the one that's on the truck. And I mean, the truck is a 16, so it's a few years old, but, uh, honestly, mine doesn't really look any, any worse. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be putting this back together and I'm going to, I'm going to show a little bit of that. I'm going to show the finished product. And hopefully, uh, my biggest fear is that, uh, well, it's not really a fear, but it's just that that long, skinny plate was bent up. i got to try to sort of bend this back down so that this is all in alignment so that the bumper doesn't look like it's warped or anything. So I did not want to have to replace that long metal strip. Uh, these cost a hundred and some dollars a piece. Not the end of the world. Uh, I think I got these from Rock Auto. Rock Auto, my favorite store. Uh, of course, I had to pay for shipping because I'm Canadian and, you know, everything comes from the U.S. So it was a hundred and dollars, a hundred and some dollars for shipping. So this total thing came out to just under five hundred dollars. So, but, you know, you should not back into fire hydrants. So it's my own fault. My truck even has a backup camera, although it is not a very good one. It does have one, and I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. okay. Back on the uh, Tacoma. Here's my new piece. So basically, I just got to slide this underneath. Uh, this plastic here has been lifted up. I've squeezed the clips to get them out of here. I'm just going to basically slide this in and bolt it from the top and two bolts from the bottom. So I'm going to put the camera down and get this piece in. And then hopefully we'll have success with the uh, finish piece that clips on top. Okay, so this uh, decorative piece here that literally just pushed into place and snapped in. I was able to tap this down. All the clips popped back in their holes. So it's looking okay. I don't know. Maybe from a distance there's a little bit of warpage. Let me stand back a little bit. I'm sure it won't be perfect. It's one of my repairs after all. 
Uh, you know what? If nobody knew, nobody would ever know. So all that I need to do now is fold this back up in place and put these little uh, uh, these little style plastic push pins. There's one here, and then there's two that go in here. And that's it. Job done. So Toyota Tacoma, great little truck, but it's a modern day truck. Uh, bumpers are plastic, so yeah, something to keep in mind. Okay, that's all for now.